Hey, what's up, guys? I told you I'd be back. And uh, hey, Kai, how you doing, buddy? You are first again. So here I am. I, I am back with just another impromptu live stream. And, you know, I, I got the y'all set up, guys, and I have been having a blast with this thing. I, I, you know, it's, it's definitely taken a lot uh, to get to this point. Um, I have had to learn quite a bit. Uh, you know, I've never messed with a motion simulator before. But uh, it, it's been fun. I mean, it's, it's been really cool learning how to do this. Uh, the, the biggest thing to crack was motion compensation. Uh, and, and you guys are going to see a little bit of that here in just a second, if everything works. God, I hope it works. So um, I am uh, going to check chat in between rides. Hey, Clay, what's going on, buddy? Um, I, I'm going to check chat in between rides. I'm going to start off with a little No Limits 2 roller coaster simulator. Maybe we'll get into a little uh, flight stuff here. Depends on how long I decide to go tonight. So uh, if you guys don't mind, man, share it out. You know, if you're interested in the y'all, make sure people are seeing this. Uh, I'm definitely going to try to do this more often. So, all right, I'm sure you guys are tired of looking at my infinity screen of me here. So let's go ahead and uh, put something better up on the screen here. So there we go. Make sure you guys are seeing that. Yes, you. So, like I said, what we're going to do uh, tonight is we're going to start off with a, a little No Limits 2 roller coaster simulator uh, because I have just been loving it. Um, so, all right, let's go. Now, man, this is an old one. It's, it's 2014, 2015, I think, when this stuff first hit Steam. Uh, but, you know, even real roller coaster designers use this today to, to design theme park stuff. Um, I think we'll start off with a softy here, uh, kind of get myself uh, balanced, uh, so to speak. Uh, we'll go ahead and ride Colossus. Now, before we do that, though, oops, uh, let me see if I can catch it. Um, I've got to turn on the simulator um, and start plug in there we go there we go felt a little nudge and okay here we go this is working I should start turning Yes, here we go, it is working. So, all right guys, uh, I am gonna try to not scream while I ride this awesome wooden roller coaster in virtual reality, 4K resolution virtual reality thanks to Pimax. Uh, guys, I love my Pimax and Pimax.
minutes before I got the notion of compensation for it just right. Okay, so there is the end of our first ride. So, uh, I know a couple of you guys are also watching. Um, I hope we are building a little bit bigger of an audience here because I really, really want to share this with people. And unfortunately, you guys might look at the back of my head. I, I have no... Um, I have no control sometimes over where the simulator uh, takes me here. So go ahead and uh, check on chat here. See if anybody's in here. Um, UK78622, <laughs> you're a goof? Okay, well, you yeah, know, kinda. I'm just, a, I'm just an old goof. Uh, okay, you love your vids. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Yeah, you know, I'm trying. Um, turn down the game volume, can't hear you. Okay, definitely, shit. Um, I told you I'm horrible at this live streaming stuff, guys. Um, so stand by. And we'll take that down. We'll take me up. And I and you know it is late at night too, so I am trying to uh, to speak a little softer, um, so I don't wake up the whole family. Uh, you know, one nice thing about the simulator here is that it is actually uh, pretty damn quiet. Uh, you don't hear a lot of it. Um, uh, all that rumble you feel, you don't actually hear a lot of it. So that is cool. And I'm sorry, you guys are just sitting here watching me uh, look at my sound settings here. And I just really want to make sure you guys can hear me. That's a little low. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, that should... So, if y'all can tell me in the chat if that is any better, um, if you are hearing me any better, um, um, I have uh, lowered the game volume as requested. So, all right. A little more boring stuff here. And uh, then we will get back on it. Um, and I guess we really don't need much, much game volume here anyway. Uh, give it a little more boost. There we go. All right. So, all right. We're going to go ahead and ride another track here. Um, so you guys let me know um, uh, after this one. I'll check back in with you. And you can let me know if, uh, if it's any better or if it's worse. All right. So, and one of these days we will get this down. We, we will get this, uh, we will get this streaming stuff. Okay, so um, let's ride something a little more intense here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Y'all Park. Okay, so this is actually a, a roller coaster that was created by the Yaw team to, to show off the uh, simulator here. So I think it should be only fitting that we ride the uh, Yaw Park simulator here, uh, the Yaw Park uh, roller coaster. Whoops, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Woo, another wooden roller coaster. Looks like we're gonna have lots, we're gonna pull lots of G's here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man, I couldn't imagine if, if No Limits got a big graphics update. That would be insane. Ah. Just, just I'm, oh man, I can't even describe how cool this feels. Just, just being leaned back at the right angle of the track. You know, back in the early, early DK1, DK2 days, it, it when we would ride like the old rift coaster and stuff, I would actually physically pull people's chair back and I would rumble it and I would kind of try to give them a little experience. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, no. Uh, okay, I'm going to shut up now. Whoa. Okay, feeling some G's. Feeling some G's. Whoa, my goodness. Yes, I am definitely feeling the G's, folks. Oh. <laughs> Don't throw my keyboard. Oh, Lord. I mean, this is it. I, I have a freaking amusement park in my house now. This is insane. I have always wanted a motion simulator, but they are so freaking expensive. And, and I'm telling you, I have ridden on some motion simulators at some of the trade shows. And, and I'm t 
half of them aren't even this good, and they're like thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. These things. I, th this thing is like two grand. Uh, ooh, hope I enjoyed the ride. Heck yeah, I did. Wow. Ooh, man, gets you that butterflies feeling. Okay, and wait for the ride to come to a stop here. go I'm probably facing oh now you're getting a profile of me at least okay so let's jump back over and uh, see if anybody has any questions um, you know guys and if you do if you have any questions I mean AMA man ask me anything uh, if you are curious about the yaw simulator here um, there we go and all right there we go, Claybomb, thank you, much better. Okay, can you still hear, uh, hopefully you can still hear a little game volume because I'm gonna take some of this and uh, mix it into an official video uh, that I am making. Uh, I will be doing an, an actual review of the Yaw, but you know, tonight guys, it, it, I don't know why I do, don't do this more often. I, I, I've never just felt comfortable live streaming and I don't know why um, you know I, I, I guess I just I prefer the edited video but I mean if you guys are liking this um, please let me know because uh, I because I play every night and I very rarely turn on the camera and I and tonight it was one of those man I'm having so much fun with the y'all I probably should be working on the damn review but I'm having too much fun with the thing so I'm gonna turn on the camera and let you guys come with me um, clay bomb it, it is hit and miss with some flight sims I'm not gonna lie um, the terrestrial flight sims it is awesome and I will actually since you asked if, if I have enough requests here in the chat um, I will probably throw down and uh, load up uh, either ill 2 Sturmovik or Aerofly um, FS2 uh, probably Aerofly Aerofly seems to work pretty good Ill, Ill 2 works great too um, the thing that I was really uh, disappointed, and why am I sitting here uh, watching chat when we could just be talking and riding? Um, the, the thing that I was really most disappointed with um, was I, I really, really wanted this to be a phenomenal uh, experience for Elite Dangerous. Um, for those of you who have watched my channel long enough, um, you know my channel started, and you will see all of that uh, here in an upcoming video as well, uh, with me building a custom chair uh, that's sitting over there in the corner uh, called Battle Chair. And, and, you know, it was just an old lady's rocker, and I stripped everything off of it and plunked a car seat in it and threw a, a transducer. But you could actually get some Flintstones motion. So you could move it, you know, you could rock and you could swivel and you could rotate it 360 degrees for y'all and you know once again like the old days uh, I just kind of went with it and kind of made my own little motion sim uh, with my feet and uh, you know now um, the, the the base that this is sitting on is battle chairs base I'm going to take the hotas tray so you know some battle chair is going to get incorporated into battle chair ultimate here um, and uh, hopefully one day we will get elite working great but right now unfortunately as I just sit here and bab babble babble um, right now unfortunately um, elite does not produce telemetry data so there there's no way to hook into it um, they're, they're, they've, they've hacked it together basically using joystick movements and, and, it, and it feels okay but without the telemetry it really doesn't track one to one um, so Okay. Ooh, um, venture into prehistoric wilderness with large creatures. Okay. We'll give that one a go. Let's just check that out. Um, but no, like I said, here in a minute, I'll, I'll jump off the roller coasters and maybe we'll just take a little flight over New York or something in Aerofly. You guys let me know in the comments. And please, if you're joining the stream, thank you so much for coming by. I, I don't stream very often. Um, but when I do, no, just kidding. Uh, you know, I, I really hope you guys are, are enjoying what you're seeing. Whoa, oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's right. This is one of those freaky ones that you just hang off of. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. 
It's like the anticipation of the drop is what gets you. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a cough, not COVID. Oh, whoa, here we go, here we go. Oh, this is like helping. It's like I feel like I'm flying. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, Lord. This looks so freaking high up. So, like, you know, that if you have any sort of a fear of heights, VR can definitely help you conquer it. Because I'm not going to lie, I mean, feeling inverted like this is making me just feel like I am really this high in the air. And it is tripping me out. God, this is so cool. Oh, God, that's straight down. Now, I could set the pitch. Now, here's another thing, guys. I don't even have this thing set to full power. It is set to 50% power right now. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what's going on? Oh, Lord, you're going to do this. You're... Oh! Oh, Lord! <laughs> oh, God. You actually feel the G's. I'm not kidding you. It's insane. Whoa. Whew. Oh, lost tracking there for a minute. Now that can get me. Um, I do need to reposition my base stations. Oh, here we go again. Oh, at least you ain't going to make me wait this time. Thank you. Uh, course room. Uh, that just feels so weird. Oh, that felt cool. I felt like I could literally, like, put my hand down in that water. Oh, Lord. Oh, I survived. Whoo. <coughs> Excuse me. As I blow everybody's speakers out here. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay. All right. So I think it's time to take a little break from the roller coasters, though. Before I get myself a little too dizzy. Like I said, I you know, being an old vet, man, I can take it. But it's not saying I don't get a little dizzy every once in a while. I just don't get VR sickness. Um, Alright, come on. Nah, what am I doing? I guess I can just stop here. Okay, so let's take another look at chat. You know, I, I, I have to apologize. I The dev of OVR Drop actually gave me a copy of OVR Drop about a month ago because uh, I told him I was going to start doing some live streaming and I really need to learn how to use it so I can just literally put a little chat window up in here in VR so I can see you guys um, and uh, talk to you because that's really the only reason I would continue to do live streams is uh, I, I just I like the interaction. Uh, so um, let's see here. Let's get out of there. There we go. Here we go. So, hey, Kilted Dragon, how's it going? Um, Lone Echo, both commentary and non-commentary. I want to see Elite Dangerous, uh, to be honest. I, I, you know, I, I can jump into some Elite, but I'm not going to lie. It's, it's breaking my heart, guys. It is. I, you know, if you go back and look at the very first videos on my channel, I mean, six years ago, I've been doing this six years, it is me in a goofy Starfleet hoodie uh, with a communicator badge sitting in my custom battle chair playing Elite. And it was the coolest thing in the world. So I thought, um, um, Overload, yeah, uh, DCS World Works. Uh, anyway, I, I thought, uh, you know, I thought, yeah, okay, you know, that's that's what I want this for. And in, without the telemetry data, it, it's, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's real jerky and it doesn't seem like it's one-to-one -one and... You know, another thing is, is it, it's space. So without being able to completely flip 360 degrees in all axes, I mean, you're, you're not going to be able to recreate that with a motion simulator. But I will jump into some terrestrial flight here in a minute. 
Um, vid of you is slightly behind the video itself. Man, I don't know. I, I, I don't. Yeah, hopefully Star Wars Squadrons work with it. Yes, uh, the, there is a big push for that. Um, I did uh, just hear that uh, that uh, uh, a friend of mine, Blair uh, Renault, he's going to add uh, yaw support to um, uh, lo-fi. So I'm going to be able to fly over that cool futuristic city in this thing. So, all right, um, you guys, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, um, you guys don't want to hear about all this. So let's uh, do this. Um, let's see here. You'll probably still be able to see it because I'm just doing the uh, open VR capture. So let's go ahead and go back in here and get out of no limits. And then I will uh, jump into a flight sim so um, hold on while I disconnect uh, some of the many parts of the simulator here um, you guys don't need to see that but you might want to see this so now that I'm done playing before I stop the game I want to stop the device and exit the plug-in um, and now we can jump back over to no limits and uh, get out of there I mean, God, No Limits is kind of so old, it doesn't even support the controller. I've got to do everything with the keyboard and the mouse here. Okay, so now you guys are just going to be in boring Steam VR for a minute. At least I'm facing the camera this time. So we'll just go back to my Steam VR home here. Let's go out on my balcony and take a look at Gotham. Man, you know, I mean, this is all about y'all, but I, you know, I do got to say, um, for those of you who have watched the channel for a while, you know, I was one of the first people with the Pimax 8KX prototype. Uh, this is the retail. They, they finally sent me the retail version and, uh, uh it, it's really nice. I gotta say I'm loving this headset. Um, obviously. Okay. So let's do, um, okay. We'll go in line. I'll, I'll finish off with the little elite. Um, but let's do Aerofly. And, and guys, keep in mind, other than the roller coaster simulator, I really haven't uh, been able to calibrate a lot of this stuff. So bear with me here. And like I said, you actually have to alt tab out. Um, you can see I got a lot of crap running here because um, we've got to get over to that, the Yaw game engine here and start the plugin and start the device. There we go. And usually you know it started because we get a little shift back to center. Um, it is also usually a good idea um, to calibrate the device by using the mobile app and pressing and holding the C button. There we go. All right. So, um, you know, I don't even know what I've got it set to, but we're just going to we're just going to start and hope for the best. Here we go. Hopefully I don't uh, crash and die in VR, in a flight sim, in a yaw chair. This thing goes like spinning me off and throwing me in the wall. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right. Nice. Oh, man. Ooh, I cannot wait until the new flight simulator um, comes out with the VR support. So obviously the motion is not going to be as, um, per se all over the place as it is going to be with the, um, roller coaster sim here. But wow, you can really, once again, like I said, guys, you can almost feel, I mean, at least one G, um, here, or at least like a half a G. Oh, that just feels good. It just tracks so well. And it, I mean, this is, I've, I've always wanted to know what this would feel like. 
and now I have this and God, I just, I cannot believe in the year 2020, I am sitting in my own house flying a freaking jet over New York, feeling the motion and seeing it all in virtual reality as if I was sitting my butt in the real thing. I, just double face palm, man. It blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. So, you know, Aerofly, if you haven't played this one, um, I, I really dig this flight simulator. Um, obviously, I would love to see Flight Simulator 2020, but I'm still unemployed and broke, and it is expensive. So, <laughs> um, and besides, I'm going to wait until um, I can play it in VR anyway, uh, proper VR. So. Let's climb. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. It's like I am going vertical. Oh. All right. Let's give it some stick. There we go. Nice. Oh, God. Guys, I wish I could convey. I mean, there is no way when you watch a content creator like me play stuff like this in VR that I can truly convey to you what I'm feeling right now. But the, this is just nuts. Let's see. Can I thread the needle? Nice. Okay, so I'm going to get to a nice cruising altitude here, and then we will uh, check chat and see if you guys have any requests. Uh, all right, level it off, Don. Level it off. Actually, wait. Let's see if we can... Get up above. Oh, I love the clouds in this game. Hold on. Before I check chat, I'm getting the chair to turn back around. Slowly, though. Yes, come down. Come on, turn towards my camera. There we go. There we go. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. Level off. All right. Oh. Okay. There we go. I level. So. Oh, no, no. No, no, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, there we go. I want to stay in the flight sim here. But we want to run over and check chat. All right, here we go. So, let's see here. Um, I found with the Rift S, removing the face mask while playing can help with the dizziness. Yeah, I don't really get dizzy. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this for almost 25 years. I've been doing VR. Uh, I'm the, I started out with VR that would have made you guys puke in instantly back in the, the late 90s. Uh, this thing is so cool. I'd love to try one of those. Hey, Sean Zom, what's going on, man? Um, are you using a wireless mic? No, this is the mic on the, uh, on the, uh, AKX. Uh, it actually has a quite a good mic. Uh, normally I would use a wireless mic. I, I like the mod mic, the mod mic wireless rocks. Um, um, overload work with the chair. You know, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, the, the things that work with the chair and I can show you guys so far. Oh, it looks like amazing. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, Clay, it is. Uh, but anyway, yeah, real quick, uh, since you asked. Uh, so the things that work with the chair. Let's see. This is the Yaw VR game engine. So currently we've got um, Aces High 3, 
Assetto, Aerofly, Condor, uh, DCS, Dirt Rally 2.0, Elite, uh, f the old flight simulator. You can just track it with an Xbox controller in pretty much any game. Uh, GTA 5, uh, definitely going to be checking that out with the GTA 5 mod. Hyperstorm, um, Il 2 Sturmovic, iRacing, Live for Speed, No Limits, Project Cars 2, Touring Carts. Um, War Thunder and X Plane. So, no, I do not see overload in there. Uh, that does not mean it won't work with it. Um, you can use this with sim tools. You can use this with, um, uh, you can use this with, uh, the, the sim racing studio. Um, so, oh, geez. All right. Like, easy on the stick, Don. Easy on the stick. Whoa. Come on now. It's not a Starfighter. All right. Um, but yeah, you can use it with uh, SRS. Uh, you can use it with Sim Tools. Um, so you know you can create your own custom stuff. Uh, and also, if you are a developer, um, you know you can download the uh, Yaw uh, SDK and you can add your own um, motion stuff. Um, I, I you know I don't know a lot about it, guys. I'm learning about all this stuff. From what I understand, the big thing that you need to make this work with any game is you need the game engine to expose the telemetry data. Uh, you know, whatever the hell that means. Uh, you know, obviously, I know what it means. But if you've got the telemetry output, then you get the, the, the true, nice one-to-one -one tracking um, that, that you've been seeing here tonight. Um, without the telemetry data, um, like I said, we'll jump into elite here in a minute. It, it, it'll break my heart and then we'll probably close the stream with that. Um, cause I really do need to actually record some true videos with this thing. Uh, but once again, I've been having too much damn fun with it since the other day when I finally cracked the nut of the, uh, uh, of the motion cancellation so that it could actually yaw. So for you guys who aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, in a simulator like this, when used with VR, you have to cancel out some motion because just like trying to use VR in a car, when, when I turn like this, um, everything would turn. So the simulator would turn and I'd start rotating towards the back of the plane so we have to cancel that out so that I can turn independently um, from the simulator. So, and now you can see I can look out different windows and oh, no, I don't know. I'm not going to try to thread the needle under that bridge. Am I? No, I'm not. God, the sense of speed with this extra FOV and the Pimax AKX is insane Whew. plus these g-forces don't hurt nice oh god that felt so good Now, sometimes, yeah, there we go. It's because I was leaning my weight. You, you really do kind of have to keep your yourself a little balanced in the thing. Um, there we go. But just usually a little, a little dip of the wings back and forth will get me, you know, nice and centered back the way that I want to be. Um, so, you know, I'll take it. So, all right. Let's do it. Let's dive bomb it. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, boom. Okay, no crashing in, in Aerofly. So, all right, we'll go ahead and uh, come out of Aerofly here. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and, uh, no. Exit. Let's quit that. And bring you guys back. Okay. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, Sean Zom, it's been a long time, man. Hey, th yeah, you know, I, guys, uh, that, thanks, man. You know, it's been it's been a couple of months. I'm not gonna lie. I, for those of you once again who watch my channel, uh, I'm seeing some new faces. That's why I just keep saying that. I don't know who else is watching, just not chatting. Um, 
it, it, things got pretty rough. I, I lost my job because of the pandemic and then there was the whole unemployment fiasco. And, and then, so I, I just, I couldn't, man, I was doing everything I could to just kind of keep my head above water and, and, you know, um, take care of Stacy and the girls. And then we just bought a house and when all this went down, so it, it got pretty scary there for a while and I just didn't have time to make content, but things are kind of even and out. I've got some cool stuff that I might be announcing here in the next couple of weeks. Um, and obviously y'all sent me this cool chair, so I am definitely going to be making some really cool content with it. Uh, you can betcha. So, um, let's see here. I wonder if you have the chair, you know, okay. So it, uh, I have not done any racing games yet. Uh, but yes and no, Sean. Okay. So I don't normally suffer from motion sickness. I did actually get a little motion sickness uh, uh, the first night I had this because I hadn't gotten everything synced up yet. I, like I said, I haven't, as I've mentioned several times in the stream, I hadn't figured out the motion cancellation yet. Um, without the motion cancellation, the yaw wouldn't work correctly and it would just throw you off of roller coaster tracks and, and it was insane. And, and it got to me a little bit. I do think though, that because a lot of the VR sickness is not true motion sickness, since you are now starting to get some of that, that fluid change in the vestibular system, it might help with it. So, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm desperately trying to get my wife, Stacy to try the thing. Um, she does suffer from VR sickness. So, um, I, I, I will, uh, I will tell her that we need to do this for science. Um, what FOV do I run my Pimax at? Um, I, I run mine at normal. Um, I don't really see a need for wide because it causes some popping and I don't really get distortions. Everybody complains that they see distortions in a Pimax. I don't, I, you know, maybe I'm just, I'm blessed with the good genetics of my eyes being spaced correctly, but, um, yeah. Um, let's see here. Plan to build myself a belt for it. Um, well, no, it has a seat belt, guys. I just don't wear it, um, you know, um, but it has a, a nice, I think I can dig it out here. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, there you, go. you can kind of maybe see it. Um, it's an aircraft style, um, you know, it's got a nice uh, aircraft style seat belt. Um, and you know, once again, like I said, I also don't have the chair set to full power. I have it set to 50% power is what you're seeing here, guys. And, and, and I don't have it set to full pitch. Uh, so it can totally take you to 35 degrees pitched, uh, backwards. Um, and, uh, I think the same 35 degrees pitched roll, I have those both limited to about 20 um, and then I have the, the forward pitch limited to about 12, just so I don't like bang the little, you know, uh, little, uh, pallet that I'm sitting on. <clears throat> um, yeah, um, no, yeah, maybe you could sleep in it. I don't know. Um, I'm going to cover that in my video, but a couple of things you probably can't see. It's uh, not close enough here. Um, I had to go to Lowe's and I had to get some, uh, uh, yeah, five point harness would be great. Um, I had to go to Lowe's and I had to get some like pipe wrapping stuff like this really soft rubber because it's like a really hard metal shell uh, that I'm kind of sitting in, in a plastic bowl with a metal ring around it. Um, also the, the backrest, uh, because I had three, uh, I have a three level spinal fusion. I've had three back surgeries. Um, I do throw a pillow in it. Um, I love to mod things. You guys know that. Um, so I'm, you know, thinking either like a Papa San chair cushion on the inside, or maybe even like a child size bean bag. Uh, but you know, definitely that would make it a little more comfortable and, uh, hopefully the, it would keep the weight down. Uh, weight limit on this thing is supposedly around 265. I weigh about 240. Um, so not a lot of, uh, overhead there. Um, uh, to add things, but man, it would be really cool if I had a true car seat or something like that. So, all right, you know, I think we've done enough talking here. Um, so, all right, um, elite, give me a minute. I am going to try elite since it was requested. Um, I, I do have to try to set a couple of things up. Hopefully it will all work. Um, because, um, I don't know if it's going to try to capture my mic. My, I got to have my voice attack. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay. 
So hopefully you guys are still hearing me um, because voice attack just took over and uh, just want to make sure. Um, so please let me know in the chat real quick before we get started if you can still hear me talking. Um, okay. Red alert. All right, there we go. I'm working on it. Okay. Oops. Okay. Sorry, guys. One second here. So, you know, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm doing the open VR capture um, through OBS so you can see all this. So this is kind of how you set up a game. Um, so I, I basically come to the page in the engine here. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the game. Um, and like I said, hopefully this doesn't get jacked up because I run a lot of stuff with Elite. Um, okay, cool. You can hear me? You can't hear voice attack. Okay. Stand by on that. Okay. So now that Elite is started, we want to start the plug-in. And start the device. There we go. Got to spin. And then we des definitely want to give Elite the focus back. Okay, there we go. And obviously it is not, but I am going to, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I don't know what's going on here. I am getting some like wicked bad performance and everything is freaking out. So, stand by. If you guys are seeing this, but man, everything is wigging out bad. Okay. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. Technical difficulties. We're going to try to relaunch Elite here. Stand by. Something didn't like something. Something's going on here, guys. I apologize. Just bear with me here. There we go. Okay, so let's try this again, and uh, once again, I do apologize for that, I'm having a little, little uh, technical difficulties here, as usual, wouldn't be a uh, live stream without some technical 
problems. Make sure OBS is still going. Okay. Perfect. All right. So if anybody's just joining the stream, uh, thank you for coming by. Um, once again, I am just uh, playing around with this y'all uh, VR chair, uh, VR simulator, personal motion simulator. Um, and I am really, really loving the thing. So we're going to get back to some gaming here in just a minute. I have uh, been kind of taking some requests of the games that I have in the uh, Yaw VR game engine. Uh, don't have all of them, obviously, uh, but uh, we do have a request for Elite Dangerous, so we are trying to get that working. Um, so bear with me. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. Man, I've been playing this game for a long time. I haven't played in a long time, though, so that's really cool. I've missed several updates. Um, I think I'll, you know, if I can get the tuning right on this, like I said, the one thing that I really wish Frontier would uh, output the telemetry data um, so that somebody could make a proper plug-in uh, for Elite... Okay. Let's see if it just fully loads this time. Okay. Reset Oculus. And yes, I know it's not an Oculus. I've been playing this game a long time. I actually <laughs> think I built that command back in the DK2 days. All right, there we go. No, it is still, okay, stand by guys. I am so sorry about this. We may not be able to play Elite. I, I did play it, uh, I did play it just the other night. Um, and uh, everything was working just fine. I think this is my problem though. It's a little better. Alright, maybe it's enough. Alright, so we'll go ahead and try uh, now that I lowered my graphics settings a bit. Okay, so once again, I've got to come out. I've got to go into the game engine. Um, yeah, delete has my mouse captured. I know, aren't my streams so fun? It's like, God, I would, like, not want to watch me. There we go. All right. Start the plug-in. Start the device. For All right, here we go. Ain't guaranteeing nothing. Reset Oculus. Whoa, all right. There we go. That's right. So when you go to Super Cruise, I don't know who did the 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 shake stuff, but it shakes way too much. Like like I said, I'm just this one has me disappointed, guys. I'm not going to lie. This one has me disappointed because it doesn't really track the way that you would think it would. Now, one thing I haven't done is I have not landed and, and drove the rover. So, you know, we could try that. Um, so let's see here. All right. God, I tell you what though, every time I play this game, I feel like I'm in Star Trek. 
Uh, it didn't work. That was supposed to be something clever. Astra? What's your name? My name is Astra. Okay, well, you're there. I feel like I'm in Star Trek. Uh, I guess, I, I don't know. Maybe the Vulcan pack's not loaded. She's supposed to go into this whole thing about being a Vulcan. It's in another one of my videos. I was just trying to be cutesy. It didn't work. All right. Engage the hyperdrive. Warp speed. Ah, man, see, I'm trying to show off and here nothing's working. It's all right. It's all about the chair. Let's get over to Demata 3 here. Whoa, see, like this, like it shouldn't just violently shake like this the whole time I'm at Super Cruise. So, I don't get that. Somebody needs to fix the the shake. I'm sure you guys are hearing that. I hope you can hear it. I hope I'm not waking up my entire family. Um, God, just get me over there. Get me over there. Ugh, come on, 48 seconds. I just need this shaking to stop before I get an angry, an angry wife visit. Atmospheric flight. Yeah, this is not the way that I envisioned this game. Come on. Come on, drop. Drop into atmospheric flight. Okay. Woo! There we go. Okay. So that was just ridiculous. Um, so like I said, you know, it, I don't know. Th this is just, it is. This is a game that I really, really want to work with this chair. And it, it just, I don't know. Maybe Sim Tools, maybe Sim Racing Studio... Oh, did I? I dropped way too early. It was just all the shaking. I couldn't take it. Here, hold on. I thought this was landable. I might have escape vector. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Can't do that. Like I said, this is it's late here. Um, I do not want to wake up my entire family. So hold on check chat and see if you guys uh, even heard any of that okay let's see here I gotta go hey thanks clay bomb um, okay it's like fun did you turn off camera shake and yes I can hear it um, no, no, dude, don't be sorry you asked for it. Uh, nah, you're not going to get me in trouble, dude. No, nah, it's all good. Um, so, I, I mean, I do. I want to drive the I want to drive the, the rover, but damn, I don't want to go back in the Super Cruise. Maybe, hold on real quick before we end up the stream. Maybe I can just go in and turn off the rumble. Hold on. Um, da -da -da -da. see maybe it's that acceleration all right all right we'll see if that fixes it because you know like I said you can come in here and all right. oh wait here we go 
hertz. Turn off all three of those. Whoa. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, I guess I could do that. No, dude, I'm not going to bed anytime soon. It's not even midnight. I'm usually out for about another hour or two. So, okay. So let's see. Let's see if that. Oh, wait. Got to go to focus. Whoa. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that actually, that feels better. Oh, now that it's not all trying to rumble and, I mean, yeah, okay. So, there, yeah, this might actually have fixed one of my problems with Elite. Okay, so let's see here. All right, let's get out of here first. Whoa, oh my god. Yay! It's not rumbling. Sweet. Okay, now we can go places. Alright. Whoa, okay. Whoa. All of a sudden? This feels completely different. This is actually starting to feel more like what I wanted it to feel like. Um, let's see if this is going to get me in trouble. Um, it may or it may not. I don't know. Voyager. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. God, I hope I don't get a copyright strike for playing music. Back when I first started my channel, I didn't know any better. And I used to just do this all the time. Go into battle and play, like, cool music while I fought. Never have gotten a real strike, though, so thank gosh for that. Yes. Man, and I tell you what, if you don't play this with the uh, HSC voice pack stuff, you're missing out. Power to engines. Thank you. No, I don't want frame shift drive. There we go. I want to boost. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and land. I'll check chat one more time. I think we're going to deploy in the rover. Check that out. And then I think we'll go ahead and call it a night, guys. This stream has been pretty long. But, you know, if anybody's been watching, yeah, the yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming by. That is so cool how she just does all that for me now. That looks like a nice spot. That's weird because I'm like not on a level ground and like the ship is not level and now my chair is not level. That is so cool. So, all right, let's go ahead and check on chat real quick before we deploy to the rover. So, all right. Okay, you couldn't hear it. Um, yeah, that means I must have my, uh, my uh, that must means I'm, I, I don't have my volumes up. So, um, <laughs> yeah, right on, dude. Um, all right, let's see here. Okay, so. Oh, stop. Stop playing. I'll stop that. Okay, well, didn't mean for that to happen. I do have a lot of music uh, programmed into um, the catalog here. So. Stand by. Yep, more technical difficulties. Hold on, guys. Sorry about this. Damn it. not least let's try the scarab <laughs> oh good it's a low gravity planet all right here we go What's going on? Okay, so that's not. Oh, the chair's not tracking. What's going on? Somehow in all my shenanigans, it looks like we've lost tracking with the yaw here. So that is a complete bummer. But man, this looks really cool in the 8KX. So I can see where this is going to be tons of fun. 
once I get the chair working here. Let's know what happened. Try to inject it one more time here. There we go. There we go. Now let's see what happens. No, nope, still nothing. So, all right, well, I guess we are going to go ahead and cap it here for the night. But, guys, you know, if you joined me tonight, thank you so much for coming by. Um, no, see, hold on.